Drexel Assistant Technology is rapidly spreading on smartphones and devices like Amazon's Echo. But Silicon Valley is taking note of a less mainstream product. This one comes from two of the men who dreamed up Siri before it was bought by Apple. Viv is a new generation of virtual assistant powered by artificial intelligence. The creators believe that they are, quote, radically simplifying the world by providing an intelligent interface to everything. Doc Kitlis was the co-founder and CEO of Siri. He holds the same titles with Viv. We are pleased to have him here. Yay. All right. Thank you. So Good just, morning. just explain to us why Viv is an advancement in the idea of using artificial intelligence to create virtual assistants. So at its essence, um, most of the assistants that we use today do a few dozen things. So we want to open the system up and let developers build hundreds and thousands of times the number of capabilities. So really it's like an opening up of the system and letting the world teach it. So we think when you go from a few dozen to a thousand different things to do, it becomes a much more important part of your life. Do you think that Siri wasn't doing something you thought, I'm going to come up with Viv because she'll, and she is a she in my opinion, <laughs> because she'll be better? Oh, I think uh, Apple's done a great job with Siri, but um, this is a, a different approach. So it re requires a completely okay. new platform to enable, and it allows the world to sort of to unleash. But let me come back to that. Why is it a different approach? Yeah. And what platform is different? So what's different about it is that anyone can teach it. So um, in Siri, Apple folks can teach it what to do. And, and I think they're making some new moves to allow a little more openness on that side. But most of these platforms are very closed. So um, the Watson program from that, that, beat, that beat Jeopardy, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was trained very much so to play that game. But this is a system where anyone can come in and add new capabilities on the fly. So it has to know its own capabilities while thousands of different developers are adding new Can things to it all the time. Can you show us what she, what, what she does? Yeah, Bob. yeah, absolutely. So <laughs> the first thing that people will notice is that it's um, something we call conversational commerce. So I'll show you a few examples of how just talking to things can make buying and you know, doing things a lot easier. Okay. So a few examples would be Get me a window seat on a one-way non-stop flight from JFK to San Francisco three days from Saturday. Oh, wow. <laughs> so obviously flights are, are the easiest that. thing in the world yes. to, to do, yeah. but boy, isn't it get much easier when you can just say it. Can or, she say, what's the weather? Can she answer that too? Yes. Are they we, all we complicated that. like that? Do you have another example? Because that's yeah, very well, detailed. Let me give you a few more examples of okay. these commerce ideas. So right. something like... Send Marco 20 bucks for drinks last night. <laughs> okay, so it knows the service called Venmo, and Venmo will very quickly, that's simple, he's got his money. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, so we now know it can make airline reservations and it can send money to Marco. What else? Yes. Uh, let me give you one more example. Okay. Um, when is Animal Collective playing in New York? That's a band, by the way. Okay, yes, you have gotcha. One. Okay, so then we see very quickly the next date is Wednesday in November, and Ticketmaster pops in, mm -hmm. and we're going to go ahead and find a ticket there. Mm -hmm. TM is Ticketmaster. Uh -huh. Yeah. How do you see that these virtual assistants are going to be used in the next couple of years? How will it transform our lives? Well, I think the, at the end of the day, um, you're going to be talking to more and more things. As speech recognition gets a lot better, as virtual assistants are far more capable, mm -hmm. you're going to find yourself using it in not just your phone, but in your car and in your house. And the number of things you're going to use it to do is going to vastly increase. So I think that's sort of the net net of all this. And of course, that makes life a little bit simpler. It gives you a little bit more time to do other things that you don't really want to spend the time doing. Yeah, there may be somebody at home watching your demonstration to say, well, they set that up and they plan that, yeah. uh, rather than it being, mm -hmm. showing the real capability of it. Yeah. How do you answer that? Because Siri misinterprets. They're, they're, they're going to get a chance to get their hands on it later this year. Uh, so <laughs> and then they can, they can, can see for, for themselves. themselves. Absolutely, yeah. I was talking to somebody who knows you well, AKA your wife, yes. who says you're a visionary and a deep thinker. And I'm no. wondering, were you always a kind of little kid who thought, we got to figure out a way to make this better. Because if I was Siri looking at you right now, 
Doug, I'd be a little irritated. Uh oh. Well, Siri and I are still we have a close relationship. <laughs> okay. and, oh, you uh, mean because he created? Yes, he created Siri, and now he's now he's doing he's something. He's the father that's, of Siri, and then he abandoned his child uh, yes. and went over to create another child. Right. There are no cage matches <laughs> planned yeah, between Siri in the near and Viv. Future, what does Siri me. stand for? What does Viv stand yeah. for? So Siri um, is a Norwegian term that means beautiful woman that leads you to victory. Ah, and Viv. Yeah. And Viv like means life in several languages. And the idea with that is that you're breathing life into the inanimate objects and devices of your life by using conversation. Okay, let me talk. finally get to this. It's really playing off of her question. Yeah. What's the, where can all this go? Because you believe it can be ubiquitous mm -hmm. and you believe it will be the means in which we communicate with everything. That's right. I think that that, that is the essence of this all. Goal. Yeah, uh, we, we like to shoot high. Well, and Tony Hale just said in the green room, dude, you're just fascinating. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Congrats. Thank Congrats. I can't much. wait to use it. Yeah. Thank you so much.